Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled Smiling and Reciting with Joy or Blessing to God over Evil. Today's Daf 60. Samach Maral took us about thanking God, blessing God for evil. When something bad happened, we perceive it as raw, we perceive it as bad, we should thank us Hashem. The Shachanach has an unbelievable language based on the Torah. In Reish Chaf Bet, it's very, he doesn't just say, well, really, it's good. And you think it's bad, but it's great. That's not what he says. And it's so important everywhere that he says, I'm going to read it from the Shulchan Aruch. Reish Chaf Bet in Or Chaim, he writes, Chaim Lerach a person has to bless on bad. B'dash Leimav Nefesh Chavzah with full dot and clarity of mind and a willing soul. Kadesh Amrach Simcha, just like you make a bracha in a happy way, Allah Tava. Person just won the lottery. He's happy. He says that Basimcha, he should do this Basimcha also. You heard of a tragedy, financial failure, bankruptcy, issues in the family, something else happens, who knows what? Bad news. Do a Basimcha the way you do it of a happy bracha. But why? Listen to this. Ki Haraal of the Hashem. When something bad happens to a person who's really close servant of Hashem, he's simchatam v'tovatam. That is his simcha. Why? He doesn't just say, because really he knows it's for the good. That's not what he says. Kevan shemekabo me'ava ma'ashikaz alav. Hashem threw a disaster at you. You accept that disaster ba'ava. This is Hashem's decree. I accept my faith. I accept the decree from Hashem. Okay, fine, but where's the simcha? We still don't see it. Nimsa. It turns out, by accepting this decree, this evil decree, doesn't say it's good. By accepting this ra'a, what happens? You are being oved Hashem. She said, hello. Hashem went ahead and gave you, he threw you a left curve. Curveball. Harsh. Financial, emotional, social, something bad he threw at you. So he's showing up to say, oh, it really is for your good. He doesn't use that line. He says, you have to accept it. This is a gazar din from Hashem. He decreed it. You accept it. Now, that's your avoda. Your avoda is to accept it. Ah. So, wait a second. My avoda is to accept it. And he says, Nimsa b'kabala razu, by accepting this, that's your avoda to Hashem. Shehi simcha lo, and that's your simcha. What is your simcha being over Hashem? So, Hashem throws a disaster at you. He doesn't try to whitewash it. It's raw. It's bad. He doesn't say, oh, really, it's good. That's not what he's saying here. Maybe in other places, but not here in Meish Chavet. But my gazer on me, my, my avodah Hashem is to accept the decree. And I say, God, how do you do this? Why do you do this? It's not fair. No, I understand. There's some divine plan. I understand. I don't understand. I don't know. But there is a divine plan. I accept this. And that's my job is to accept it. Ah, so my job, my avodah, that's my simcha in life. My simcha in life is doing what is right, what is proper, what's yasha, what's tov. And what's proper right now is to accept. This is a bigger picture, and I accept this is my decree right now. Understand it or not? Good or bad? I accept this is ra. I accept it, Hashem. Belev shalem, with a full heart. Ooh, you do something that Hashem asks you to do. That's your simcha. So it's an amazing twist. He doesn't say, oh, this is really good, and that's why you have simcha. No. You're accepting the bitterness from Hashem. And that's your job. And doing your job, your avoda, that should be simcha for you. It's a very high level, but Shulchan Paskins this way, it is attainable. It's Hashem, we should have besura, tavot, but even when there's besura, ra'ot, and tough things happen, we should be able to follow this lofty approach. Shalom.